I'm a maker. I design, model, and 3D print my own miniatures for my game, Colonial Born. If that's where you want to be, this video is for you. I was not a maker, heck I wasn't even a 3D modeler this time last year. Now I'm making models that look like this. What I'm not saying is that everyone can get this good in a year. God knows I've had 15 years experience in the animation industry behind me, plus three years of art school. The knowledge and the experience is one thing, that takes time. But what I'm saying is you can learn the software and the workflow in under a year. So how do I recommend getting started? I see two ways of moving forward. There's the hard way, which takes time, and then there's the dirty way, which won't make you a great artist, but it will put minis on your table. The hard way is to become an artist that can put the kind of quality you want on the board. It's a hard fought process of self-discovery and artistic development that's best learned at an art school. But if art school isn't for you, you could also look around for a life drawing session in your local area. I live in the boonies and they're around me. My recommended reading is to start with George Bridgman's Life Drawing and Constructive Anatomy, then move to Mike Matesi's Force, Dynamic Figure Drawing, which he has a fantastic website about, and then round out those skills by pouring over Bern Hogarth's Dynamic Figure Drawing, which you'll never appreciate as a novice, but it will hit you like a brick once you start moving past the basics. Ask the person who's running the session what it is that you should be bringing and what the etiquette is in that room. The etiquette is important. The model is exposing themselves for your artistic development, so don't be a twat. Respect the model, respect the room. It's just a privilege to be there. Then move on to sculpture. I recommend Roma Plastilina for this. You won't be able to save your work because Roma Plastilina melts over time but it will encourage you to work quickly and not get attached to your work, which is an advantage at this stage in the process. Working in real sculpture and real clay has a way of showing you what you don't know. So you can go back to that life drawing room, fill those gaps and become a better artist. Finally, you're ready for software. ZBrush is the king in this space, so learn that. And if you're already proficient in clay, then ZBrush is going to feel like a natural fit. You really only need a bunch of YouTube videos and Pixelogic's own knowledge base to be able to learn the software, not some expensive course. Once you're confident in ZBrush, you're going to need to understand the workflow specific for 3D printing miniatures. For that, there's this wonderful course by Print and Play's Alex Zaragoza. I'm really hoping that I pronounced your name right. Watch it. It's the only video you're ever going to need on this stuff. Then pick up some slicer software. I use Litchi. There's lots of others on the market. They're very easy to learn. And slice your model. Okay, so you're not in for the long journey of becoming an artist and you just want to print something. For some reason, what's on my mini factory is not what you're looking for. So you want to do the down and dirty way so you can get something on that table. Here's how you do it. You buy models, you cut them up, and you kit bash them. It's the digital equivalent of buying miniatures from your local hobby store and cutting them up and putting them together. You're still gonna need to have the software skills, so ZBrush and the course by Alex Zaragoza are still required reading, but it's quick, it's easy, it gets the job done. Where do you get the models? Well, you can follow the Patreons that are out there. You can go to my mini factory and grab the stuff that's on there. But my personal preference for kit bashing would be to go to a marketplace like ArtStation, where people sell parts specifically for the purpose of kit bashing 3D models. You can find better base meshes on there, more flexible character designs, and you can put your own parts on them. The one thing I do not endorse doing is going onto ArtStation and grabbing a whole bunch of work by underpaid artists, kit bashing it, and then throwing it on my mini factory to make a few coin. It's unethical, it's dirty pool, don't do it. If you wanna sell miniatures, learn how to make them the hard way. I hope this video set you on the right path to being able to do what you want to do with 3D printing, but I would ask you, please support me in turn. Like, subscribe to my channel. YouTube only likes me if you do.